All right, all right, all right. I hope everybody's having a great day. If not, your day will get better. First and foremost, I want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I hope you guys are having a great day. And also to those single fathers out there who are taking care of children, who are also doing it. Also to the single mothers, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so today, I have something special for you guys. Going to the mall for Mother's Day. That's right, the first mall here in California to open up is literally an hour away from me. So I'm going to head out there, get some gifts for my mother and uh, my girl, because she's also the mother of my children. And yeah, also, we get to pull out these bad boys. <clears throat> That's right, the Jordan 5 Fire Reds. Let's do this. Oh, let's keep the air mask real quick. These will not be dead stock anymore, which I'm pretty sad about. move already all right we are here at the mall let me show you guys that is the mall right here and let me tell you guys something this is the first mall to reopen in california since everything has completely shut down <laughs> and with my sister and her friend right here behind me but yeah we're gonna stop in and check out the foot locker the finish line and any of the shoe places in here and see what they got also it is mother's day so i still have to do mother's day shopping so i hope everybody's excited so far this is the mall let me check in. This is what everything's looking like. Everything still is kind of closed. I know a lot of people don't probably want to get seen, but yeah. Angie, move your big ass head. There's a foot locker right here, so we're gonna go check that out. Hoping they have the drone one game loyal, so it'd be nice if they did. Um, but yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers to see if they do it. If they don't, which isn't going to bother me. I'll pay resale prices. But at the same time, it's I'm really, really hoping they have a pair in here. Especially my size. You know, a 10 would even do. Uh, a 9 will even do. But a 9.5 is what I'm I'm gunning for. We'll see. We'll see. The locker will say. Interesting. Almost it. I think overall the shoes I'm not trying to cop are these guys right here. Or those guys right here. These are pretty dope. These are hella dope. So this is what it's like to be back in the mall after so long. This shit's hella dope. I just like the line at the back, I don't know why. But yeah, I don't know if I, it's, it's cool to be back in the mall, I guess. I'll show you if I pick up something. These right here. Daniel, if you're watching. Oh, these are pretty dope. I like how the material in the back. That's hella nice. The tongue though too. Oh, they got a yellow on, on purple too. Oh, that's pretty dope. I actually like this. I don't like high top, I like the mid tops better, to be honest, I really do. Mid tops are way better. Let me turn this off before I get copyrighted. Alright, so they said that they're probably not most likely going to get the Game Royals at all. They said that every Foot Locker that has gotten something recent, they have to return it. Don't know why they have to return it, but they do. Uh, but he said, yeah, they have a pair of Fire Fire Reds back there, that's the only pair, and your co-worker can't buy it. Which is pretty sad. He has to, they have to return anything they got recently. They have to return it. I don't know why. If anybody knows, if you work with Foot Locker or anything like that, let me know why they have to return it. Because that's interesting in my opinion. You know what I mean? I'm not going to lie. It is kind of weird knowing the fact that a lot of these stores are still closed, but the mall is open. Foot Locker probably being one of the more high, more trafficked places. 
Um, I think JC, uh, Journeys behind me was also pretty trafficked. Um, the nail salon right now, we get, got people waiting. But yeah, I don't know if I, it should be should be interesting. We got Security Joe here. I don't know if I can see him or tag him. Let me see if I can. There he is. The guy in the yellow shirt just chilling right there. Not doing this fucking job. Comes and asks me, am I recording? Showed him the phone screen that I wasn't recording. He was like, are you recording people? I said, no. I was like, you guys are the first mall back open in California, plus the first Foot Locker, and I make shoe content, and you know, I just wanted to get all this you know, on video. And he was like, okay, just no, don't record anybody. No, I'm recording myself. People may think I'm recording them, but technically I'm recording myself, as you guys can see. So, already. All right, so I'm here at finish line. As you guys can see, let me just flip this. And this is what they have to say due to everything still going on in the world. <clears throat> it says, I don't know if you guys can read this, but it says, we are currently not open due to public until further notice. Thank you for your... Uh, for any questions, please feel free to call our customer service number at this and this, this and that. So, kind of sad, but at the same time, you know, I understand completely. But, it is what it is. So, <laughs> so we're back from the mall. It's been like three hours since we've been back, but my sister and her friend took off. Uh, what are my thoughts about the mall being open? I, lot, I know a lot of people dislike the fact that this mall opened up really, really early. And I can tell you guys right now. I wasn't a big fan of it either. I can care less. There wasn't a lot of people in there due to the fact that the mall, like a lot of the stores are obviously still closed, but it's just, I don't know, something about the place just gave me a weird vibe. I felt like I had to look over my shoulder for some weird reason, and I don't like that feeling whatsoever. Like, this is one of the main reasons why we left the Bay Area, is so we don't have to have that type of issue or that feeling. But being in that mall <laughs> made me feel like I had to look over my shoulder. But anyways, uh, I also didn't get anything from my mom uh any mother's day gifts from the mall because everything being closed i also didn't pick up any shoes from Foot Locker. obviously finish line was closed um so was it a good trip yes it was cool to see everybody back out to see how the world will reoperate but as far as that was it worth it no i'm gonna buy it was just a complete waste of time we stopped off at target and got my mom a book one of her favorite books uh also what are my thoughts on the jordan 5 now that i've worn them I love the shoe. I'm gonna buy the silhouette of the shoe. It's probably the best silhouette. A lot of people were upset when they released the shoe. It didn't come with the 23 on the side. I was happy due to the fact that 23 on the side of it, because it's embroidered, got dirty super quick. It got more dirty than the laces did. But though, it was something I was really happy about. A lot of people didn't like the fact that the whole uh, midsole was all black. A lot of people wanted it back to the red and stuff like that. Me. Personally, I love the fact that it's black. It goes all the way around because of the fact that the dirt's not going to show on it. And it's just going <sighs> to... And if I really wanted to like repaint these with Angelus shoe paint, it'd be easier to match instead of getting Fire Fire Red to try to match it. And plus their Fire Fire Red doesn't really always go with the same exact Fire Fire Red on this. I don't know why I keep saying Fire Fire Red. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, also, my other thoughts. This shoe creases pretty fast it creases pretty fast the shoe was only on my foot for three four hours at the max uh i would say three um as you guys can see let me get in some good lighting so you guys can see it creased up pretty good as you guys can see uh inside of the shoe right there i suggest if you get the shoe get some shoe tree to prevent the toe box from creasing but as far as like the heel part of it creasing there's no way of preventing that so that's one of the things you're gonna have to live with. Also, if you're a low or like a no-show sock person like I am, I suggest wearing mid socks, like something that's gonna go past the ankle because I'm a big guy, but I got small ankles. So it, it kind of made your shoe, uh, like your, your ankle sweat or around your foot area sweat. It almost, because of the material on the inside of the shoe, um, it made me sweat. <laughs> it made my foot sweat. It almost came out, like the shoe almost came off. But overall, the shoe is super dope. I do actually really like this shoe. I think so far, this is probably the best Jordan 5. I know a lot of people will probably go against that and say, nah. And I know people are gonna ask me, why didn't I wear or put these lace locks on? I like doing that. I'm gonna buy it's cool. But for some reason, I just, I appreciated the shoe with it, without it. You know what I mean? Without the little lace lock. Dope shoe. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna buy that it's today's day. I hope everybody did enjoy the literary experience of going back into the world to see how things are gonna reoperate and stuff like that. But yeah, if you guys did like, 
Don't forget to wait. Hold on now. <laughs> don't you know? Why don't you be a pal? Why don't you be a family? Why don't you be a friend and subscribe to this channel? I hope everybody has a great night.